Hello, how is everybody? Um, it's me, Candy. Um, today is um, Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. Um, so, still no, no hotel room, no shower. Um, and I, um, yeah, the, well, what I wanted to say was, um, y'all know, I mean, I've seen some videos about targeted individuals talking about how they have pretend homeless who actually have money, but they're just paid to pretend like they're homeless just to perp us. Okay. Well, uh, like, <laughs> that look like a perp vehicle down there, right there. But, um, anyway, um, so that red car was parked, um, across the street from my sleep spot. And in the previous short little video, Go back and look at, like, the whole thing. It's like a minute and a half or something. But go back and look at the whole thing because, um, I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to fully show everything, you know. But the beginning of the video, you saw a car. Then I walked toward, towards this short little, I mean, I crossed the, the little building. And then, like, by, my, by the area by my potty spot... Um, I, I went to use the bathroom. I went to go potty. And then I look up. There was a white guy in a, in a one simple, small, um, like, towards the very end of the video, I showed like a second or two because he, he woke up and was looking dead at me at the, at the time. But I was freaked out when I had to go so bad, you know, when they forced me with the energy weapons to go pee. And so I, I, I woke up. I mean... And I heard up and ran, had to go run over there, drop all my stuff and run. And I got some pee on myself. So I um, had to go and run over to the sleep spot. I mean, the, the potty spot area. And then I didn't know until after I was done peeing and I looked up and it looked like he was. I don't even know if he, if he was looking at me the whole time and then pretended to be sleeping. So, um. And it's like close to seven o'clock now, but it was a little after six thirty when it happened, you know. And, and he, you would have thought that he was just an innocent homeless person minding his business, but the motherfucker looked too clean and too fresh to be um, homeless. I mean, I should have had a cam camera on him longer, but I was afraid that uh, you know something would have happened, like an argument or a fight or something would have happened, you know, if I would have kept the camera on him longer. But he didn't tell me anything. You know, and so um, he he looked too clean and too fresh. Plus, he had a simple little book bag. He had like a a military uh, not a real military, but kind of like faded military camouflage looking book bag, and uh, um, and a green sleeping bag, like as if he was just out camping. And I wonder, he, you know, if he was a perp that did that just to mock me. He was a white vehicle with one head, like. Where? They want to be obvious. It's a white guy, another white male. So, um, usually I go around the other side of the building to pee, but I had to go on that side because it was so, the urgency was so strong. And I, I I ended up um, peeing on myself completely last night and had to change clothes. And still, with today's day eight with no bath. So, you know, I'm planning to do something secret that I'm, I don't want to reveal to anybody. But planning to, you, you know, have a secret spot where I can at least do white boss or something like that. But that's not good enough. I need, like, real thorough showers and baths. And I won't be able to wash my hair. But, you know, I don't like when people say, oh, that's better than nothing. 
No, I'd rather the real deal rather than just take a half or a fake or something and then just accept that it's better than nothing, you know. So, um, <clears throat> that's just what I want to explain, like, at the very beginning of the video, um, the previous video was when, um, I, I, I mean, that same red car been sitting there since I got to my sleep area last night and it was blended in with the, at the, with the restaurant with the other cars. And um, it was and it was blended in with the restaurant with the other cars, so I thought. And then I noticed that it was like after midnight, and that same car was sitting there. So, but at least the last night or two, I was able to get some sleep, and um, I didn't have to feel the vibrating. Thank God, you know. So um, I'm done this little piece of video. I just wanted to explain in more detail if y'all go back and look at the other video this is very short like a minute and a half but i had the phone pointed down to the ground for a short while because you know i didn't want you know the, the restaurant and everything to be all exposed and stuff so i that's why i put the phone down to go and find show show y'all him <clears throat> you know it was, it was perverts like he he, he must have been you know, and, and I, I'm sitting here thinking, like, well, what if he's innocent? And what if I falsely accuse him? Not on purpose, but, you know, sometimes we get a, um, you, you know, like a false alarm where we think somebody's a gang stalker. And that, for me, it's, um, I'm, like, at least 95% right. But 5% of the time, I've had, you know, m mistaken, um, you know, but I'm mostly right, almost always, but every, every once in a while I get a false alarm. But, and then I'm also thinking, like, <clears throat> what, what if he is, you know, innocent? And what if that red car is not connected to him? But damn, like, I didn't even notice. I heard Ben ran to the bathroom, and then I didn't realize until after I pulled my pants up and looked my pants and underwear and stuff, and then I look, and and he's there sleeping, <clears throat> you know, like as if he knew I was going to come in advance, I was coming at that exact spot rather than the, around the other side, like I usually do, <clears throat> you know, so, um, it's like, and then he, he, he looked fresh and clean cut, and he had, like, his, like, mannerisms, when he lifted his head up, he had his, like, this clean cut, image like and his mannerisms was like a thug and you know, like he like so he, he might have been um uh, I guess I might be you know I might be right and just gaslighting myself you know so I'm gonna go right now and thanks for watching bye